Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. Right, today we have another war against Legion over the holidays and obviously it is a fun one. I do have some more taxing and tricky fights this war as well, so I'm bringing in Molman, Odin and Warlock. Right, so there's quite a lot happening in the war. I will be taking path 8 in section 1, path 9 in section 2 and then I do have a mini boss. And uh, the first fight I could also technically use Moleman for, but I figured I'll just go in with Warlock. And this is obviously a tactic defender, so whenever Spider Ham is going to throw a special attack, effectively I will be rooted, he's going to be unblockable, all that other fun stuff. And uh, I am going to be using Warlock instead. Now, I do have a 7 star Warlock, which I'm thinking of taking up to rank 2, but at the moment it kind of feels like a bit of a waste. I don't know, maybe I'll change my mind a bit later. Especially since my 7 star is still unduped. But my 6 star rank 5 will have to do. So boosting up with the medium attack and health boost. As well as the large champion boost. And I'm getting a 10k loyalty tech boost. I actually kind of need to start stocking up on these slightly more. Uh, but that is fine. So I'm going to be using the 3 minute boost throughout this war as well. Because I did not want to mess up this war even more than it was but well let's see how it goes for me so spider ham is an absolute nightmare to fight at least for me i have always hated fighting all spider hams because of their animations and sometimes the ai just goes hyper aggressive so here the plan is i'm gonna effectively parry a lot heavy a bit wait out until he has no nonsense charges before using my level two and that's pretty much it there is a downside to this strategy, though, that I didn't initially realize and uh, figured it out only after my level 2s. So here we can see that we're putting in solid work and the willpower is draining. Uh, well, the war Warlock is doing the degen thing from willpower. Here, I didn't actually notice that power thing on me, which kind of cropped up and uh, I'm kind of, kind of going to pay for that. So now I'm just waiting out for the no non nonsense charge to expire, which I did, and then I activated a special attack and hey, hey, power sting immediately. And uh, only after the fight I realized, like, wait, where did my health go? There was that power sting. But, you know, tech boosts plus warlock is always quite a good amount of fun, so nothing too special in this fight. We basically neutralized the global completely, but not allowing the opponent to throw a single special attack. Which is kind of going to be the theme of this war for the most part, until it won't be now going up against hulk pretty much the same idea i was also in this war i didn't initially notice that it's an unduped hulk i just kind of assumed it would be a duped hulk so i was like cautiously observing the amount of furies that he has and uh well i shouldn't have because he's unduped and i don't really care for that so that's fine i don't want to stay too close to him for too long because i don't want him to have any fury buffs active because those buffs do reduce the duration of my infections and here going in uh, for level two at two infections sweet all is well we are refreshing here so a couple of specials used not a big problem and uh, the third one is going to be it really so just playing super carefully too carefully really in a sense activating the heavy attack and there we go that is a job done could have been slightly faster but everything's perfectly fine going up to path nine activating odin's pre-fights for my warlock healing up again this is actually getting quite expensive for a single one but uh such is life i have a feeling this is going to be a ridiculously expensive season and now and now and now I need to figure out indestructible three boost or power start one boost which one would be better for this and I think here I went with the, once again, we can see here, advanced power boost as well, because I have more of those. And typically indestructible three is kind of, well, on the lower end. I tend to run out of indestructible three boost more. So here again, the entire point is just get an infection up and I'm going to mess up this a little bit, but we'll be fine. So just get an infection up degen him for days in and out now that i do have infection and he is in the blood phase and here i miss a parry and i didn't notice this but this should have been kind of like a warning light 
for me because I was quite sure that I did get the party on time, not that I messed it up myself, but you know, fine. I'm just going in for a second level two here. Obviously, with all the armor breaks, it's already doing significantly more damage. And the final level two to finish it. Did lose some health here due to that mistake and a bit due to hazard chip as well. Now, this fight's scary. It's one eyed open, hazard chip, shock and bleed, spider gun. And for most part, Molan kind of counters this fight well if you don't go on your damage phase because un so obviously Molman has all the shrug of abilities here. I do have recall mastery zone for this war as well for extra damage. And the point is, I probably should have went for level two as well here. Um, but the point is, uh, I still can shut down her weight, which is the ability that I'm actually going to play around with my Molman. Now, when she activates her special attack, I can take a hit on a block on purpose to get rid of my monster mass charges, but for whatever reason, my precision uh, true accuracy passive didn't come back immediately. That's fine though, because I'm feeling quite confident dexing the entire special attack there. I just kind of need to make sure that I always have the true accuracy passive active. And uh, here I'm just going to wait it out as I'm baiting a special. And everything's fine. And except again, I do miss a parry. And I don't know what is happening because I swear I didn't just stand there. And uh, this should have been my second cue that inputs are getting messed up for my fight. But fine, I activate level two, do that recall damage, at least get some adrenaline healing. And you know, fight's nearly over and dex that special, which you know, if I didn't, could have been the end of it, but it's fine, we did. But I still, and didn't notice what I should have looking back in hindsight. I kind of felt like there was like a missed input, but I thought it's just like the regular thing. But at the beginning of this Havoc fight, it's going to show itself completely. So I'm going to heal up my Warlock here. And we're going to see a couple of things. So it is Conflictor, Crumbling Armor. It's a very good placement for Havoc, without a doubt. So I'm activating Indestructible 3 boost, knowing that, you know, if something goes wrong, I can eat the special or push him to level 3 or whatever. But there are a couple of things. Number one, I entered this fight. Well, first, not here I get immediately hit and lose my indestructible three boost. Here, I seem to be working, functioning fine. I drop a combo and I just stop. At this point, I realize something is very, 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 very badly up. Wipe my phone screen. I, you know, wipe my hands yet again. I change my thumb sleeves because something is definitely going wrong. So I did that as quickly as possible in order to return to the fight. And now I'm carrying on. And at this point, I still hadn't noticed that this hammer has no willpower. And here I activate my level two, knowing that uh, I get the two armor breaks. Then then I should be power draining the guy, but I wasn't. And he just activates level three. So number one, you know, I kind of half expected this bit that he wouldn't have that willpower on. I mean, I, I assume that he does because nobody told me that he doesn't, but I kind of thought it could be the case, which is why I used the indestructible three boost, which immediately I lost at the beginning of the fight. And uh, it happened. You know, this is just going to be such a messy, messy season for sure. Again, uh, just, you know, it's a combination of my own error plus some bad circumstances in the fight. Um, but, you know, such is life. Definitely could have been more careful as well. Uh, now, re-entering the fight completely changes strategy, knowing he doesn't have the willpower, being already pissed off. And the strategy and the goal is super simple here. Just block everything, get level 3, power drain him completely. That's it. You know, that's all you can do with Warlock here. No real issue because by blocking, I'm also power draining him. So I will reach the three bars of power quicker than he does because he's going to be hitting in my block with non contact hits. It does power drain him. I'm not inflicting any debuffs on him to trigger the conflictor. Now he's at 21%. I'm going to activate my level three that power drains all of his power and I can basically rinse and repeat. And uh, this should have been the winning strategy for this fight from the get go. Again, had I uh, no, here he does manage to activate his level two. It kind of pisses me off because I was holding my block and his power was rapidly being drained, but he still chose to throw that level three. Well, either way, we definitely haven't had the best war. 
and it does look like we are gonna end up losing this one so we won the first two luckily but this one uh yeah this one's gonna be an l for us so well played to the legion guys a uh, bit scuffy from my part as well but um also quite an expensive war without a doubt so uh, ultimately extremely extremely frustrating one for me but you know um that's that's what you get for playing the season <laughs> i guess i doubt it's gonna get that much better anyways now let me know how your war season is going guys and i'll catch you guys soon bye bye Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about